Hey guys, it's Luke with Wilson Auto Detailing, and uh, I actually just started detailing this car. It is a, uh, what is it, a Dodge uh, Hemi actually, so a pretty sweet car, but um, I'm going to make another video about tire cleaning, but I actually just started this video, and I wanted to show you guys something because it is not the average uh like detailing process what's happening right this second so i wanted to show you guys what it is and um, basically what happened is my customer called me and said we want you to detail our car but we have this specific problem area on the dashboard where it's like this white sticky like uh almost looks like the dashboard needs to be restored can you restore the dashboard and I was like, well, let me just look at it when I get there. You know, let me see what it's like and what I need to do. And uh, it looks like the dashboard's faded. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if you can see what I'm talking about, it looks like the dashboard's faded. So here's what I did. I just I just cleaned this area so you could see the contrast. So you have the dashboard here, right? Um, let's see here. I've got this sweet tripod. It makes my videos so much better. But you have this uh, this dashboard, right? And then you have this, like... I don't know, film or whatever this is, I don't really know, um, but it's all around here as well. You can see the white, uh, dri kind of like dripping, it's spotted up there. So you see what I'm talking about here, Let's see if I can get you in there. Yeah, so all that spotting. So at first glance, obviously, it looks like, well, maybe my dashboard is fading and it needs to be restored, um, or maybe somebody permanently damaged it or, you know, whatever. But um, actually, I uh, wanted to test a couple products out to see what would work, and so I did this tiny spot right here. And as you can see, it worked. Now, what did I use to fix this dashboard? None other than Meguiar's Super Degreaser. <laughs> It is a degreaser, however, you can use it to clean interiors because it's got an amazing grease cutting agent. It's a great cleaner. And check that out. <laughs> it completely cleaned it. So <laughs> I'm just laughing because it's funny how over the phone it seemed like it was going to be a big deal. You know, it seemed like, oh, maybe I'm going to have to use some sort of like black trim restoration product to like get this dashboard back you know to normal it's fate or whatever you know it seemed like oh well, maybe I'm gonna have to charge you extra because I'm gonna have to do X Y and Z and I get here and I'm like well let me just try a couple things out first and I put some super degreaser on it I scrub it with a uh, uh, non abrasive <laughs> scrub pad and it's <laughs> it's done you know it's easy and what's great is that she said well the dealership uh, did this. Like the reason this happened to the dashboard is because the dealership did something while we were there and they did whatever and now it looks like this. And now I look like a superstar <laughs> because number one, I'm not charging her anything extra. Number two, it's not taking me any extra time. Number three, I'm not having to do anything complicated. And number four, the dashboard's gonna look level 10 perfection when I get done because it's no big deal at all. But in her head, it was this, oh no, we, you know, my husband just got this really nice car and, you know, the dashboard doesn't look right and dang, you know, what are we going to do? And, uh, just easy like that. And, you know, I, here's a tip, tip is always under promise and over deliver. My dad growing up always said that under promise, over deliver, under promise, over deliver. And which that's really self-explanatory. But what, you know, what I did was she, she said, come look at it. Can you do anything? And I looked around and I said, I didn't promise anything. I just said, let me see what I can do. Just let me see what I can do. I didn't promise anything. And I put some super, Maguire super degreaser on it and bam, it's just like that. It's, it's, it's fixed. And so anyways, I just, this is, you know, a short video and stuff, but I just say all that to say that, you know, as a professional detailer, you're going to run into situations where people don't know the level of, uh, or just don't really understand the nature of the beast. They don't really understand, uh, the situation or the circumstance. And so they can't wrap their mind around fixing a certain problem or doing something in an easy way or uh, how hard it's going to be and you with 
experience. What's up, dude? How you doing? Sweet, I'm making a YouTube video. Nice. Oh yeah. So anyways, um, I, uh, that was my old neighbor, because <laughs> I'm in, I'm detailing a car, I have a customer in the neighborhood I used to uh, live in, so that was my old neighbor, and he is the nicest kid ever. I uh, went on a mission, I lived in Mexico actually, three years ago, uh, doing mission work, and uh, he uh, was all about it, and talked to me all about it, he's just awesome. But anyways, beside the point, what I'm saying is, as a professional detailer, you're going to run into situations where your customer or whoever you're detailing for doesn't understand the circumstance, they don't understand the situation or the, you know, the level of difficulty or whatever to clean their car or to fix a certain situation. And so a lot of times people tend to blow things up in their head because, um, Either they're just in love with their car, or um, and like in this case, it's a it's a nicer car, and so you know you have this kind of like need to keep it clean and need to really you know maintain it, and so when something goes wrong, people kind of freak out because which is natural, right? Because you spend a lot of money on a car, so you know you want it to look nice. Um, but as a professional detailer, always, always, always under promise and over deliver because. Number one, you end up looking like a superstar. Number two, it doesn't, it, it keeps your customer from building their expectation and then maybe you not being able to meet that expectation and then all of a sudden you have a disappointed customer and they associate your business with, I didn't get what I want. I didn't get what I wanted or what I paid for. Um, so anyways, she showed me the dashboard. I said, let me see what I can do. And guess what? It's going to take me no extra time. It's going to take me no extra product. It's going to take me no extra effort. The dashboard's going to be totally clean, totally perfected. She's going to come out here, see it looking spotless, level 10, and look at me like I'm a wizard, okay? <laughs> so, anyways, I'm actually planning on making a tire cleaning video today, so I will do that, but I just wanted to throw this in here. Um, just to, as a tip for the pro detailers. Um, and I also wanted to address something. I had uh, a guy comment on one of my videos and he said, uh, do you just watch Darren Priest auto fetish detail videos and remake them? And let me just address that real fast, okay? Number one, don't post negative things on my channel because my channel's meant to build people up and to encourage people and to help people, not to tear people down. There's enough negativity in the world. Don't add to it, man. Let's be a light and build some people up, okay, and encourage people. Let's stop uh, tearing people down. Um, number two, I do love Darren Priest's auto fetish detail channel. He's amazing. He knows exactly what he's talking about. He's got amazing products. I use a lot of the products he talks about. Um, am I trying to copy what Darren's doing? Not at all. Um, and am I aware that I made a video about Meguiar's wheel brightener and I talked about the pH scale because it's an acid-based cleaner and Darren Priest also made a video about Meguiar's wheel brightener and he also talked about the pH scale? Yes, I'm aware that we both talked about the same stuff. Am I aware that he talked about Meguiar's Synthetic Express spray wax off-label use? And I also made a video about the off-label use. Yes, I'm very well aware of that. But I'm not copying what he's doing. I'm just talking about the same products that he's talking about. So it has nothing to do with copying what he's doing. It has everything to do with just, if you're talking about the same products, well, you're going to overlap with some of the same information. It's like if you search on YouTube and type in Siamese cats uh, information. If you watch five different videos with five different people explaining five different explanations of information about Siamese cats, which is a weird thing. I don't know why that popped into my head, but you're going to get some of the same information. And so if you go to another detailer's channel and you look at his you know, review of Meguiar's Super degreaser, and then you go to my channel and look at my review of Meguiar's Super Degreaser. Well, guess what? You're probably both going to talk about how it can be used on tires, how it can be used on engines. You're probably both going to talk about how it can be used even inside or um, on the paint. And so it has nothing to do with me taking somebody else's information um, and everything to do with just talking about, you're talking about the same product. And so eventually you're going to overlap with some information. Um, and on that same uh, train of thought, if I see a video of another detailer who talks about a certain product that I know I'm going to talk about, and he gives some useful information about it, 
Well, heck yeah, I might say the same thing because my, my channel's dedicated to help people. So if it's good information, then I'm absolutely gonna use it. And because my goal is to help people watching. So if I know there's good information out there, well, heck yeah, I'm gonna throw it in my video because I want people to have good information. So it has nothing to do with copying or anything like that. Um, and everything to do with just giving people good information. Um, and on the same note, there are things that Darren does that I don't do and that I kind of disagree with and I'll make videos about that and actually the tire cleaning video that I'm about to make I don't do what Darren does and so um, just understand that that uh, it's not about copying or like remaking Darren Priest videos it's about if somebody gives good information and I happen to be talking about the same product well then of course I'm gonna throw some of that information in there because I want to make sure people get good info so anyways let me show you guys the dashboard one more time before I um, before I clean it all, and then I'll take you back in and show you what the finished product look like, looks like. All right, so here is this part of the dash, and it's spotted, focus, oh yeah. So it's got a little film over it. We've got it on the outside as well, kind of the dripping marks. All right, so you can see it really nice up here. Okay, all up here. I'll take you in, if you can see all of that. Really just kind of this spottedness, all right? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it and show you the after. And again, all I'm doing is Meguiar's Super Degreaser. So here it is. Bam. Bam, bam, no longer there. No more drips. Solid black finish dashboard, totally cleaned. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Bam. Ba -bam. Again, I only used Meguiar's Super Degreaser, diluted uh, 5 to 1, and uh, it totally cut through all that film and stuff that was on there. But uh, guys, once again, I just want to repeat this, just because I, it's important to me, it's a, a conviction that's just deep in my heart that, man, if you don't have something good to say, like, don't comment, okay, man? If you don't have something good to say, don't subscribe, don't watch these videos like you don't have to you know and so this channel I want to just reiterate this channel is meant to help people to encourage people to encourage the beginner detailers the pro detailers and any of the do-it-yourselfers man if you have something constructive to say say it comment but if you don't have anything nice to say it's just negative don't comment because there's enough negativity going on in the world man don't add to it um, and uh, anyways yes yeah, so I'm gonna keep detailing this car and uh, guys Hope these detailing tips in this short little video helped you out. Until next time. And remember, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Wilson Auto Detailing. My name's Luke. I'll catch you on the flip side.